the biggest challenge right now is to find the talent because there are such a, a there's such an accelerating rate of progress in most industries that believe it or not most of us are hard pushed to find high quality staff people are right now being promoted beyond the level of the competency because industries are exploding they're not just growing incrementally especially for top management positions we still have one uh, top management position open it's the operations director i have been looking for this uh, position for one year now still we could not find the right people for example if, you, if you're looking for financial control or financial director for a small business that can be hugely challenging partly because You've got an enormous amount of money flowing into China, a lot of due diligence work being done, a lot of negotiations being done, they involve financial professionals, so they tend to go to the highest bidder. Sometimes a reference check is very crucial. Uh, it's not just sometimes, you know, because in China, CVs, they could make up CVs. Some people, they could, they pretend to be very well in the interview, but they turn out to be no good in the real job. We had these lessons before. Basic principles of creating a strong culture basic principles of creating common goals, a feeling of belonging, apply in the West and in the East. The detail in terms of how you apply them may, may vary from place to place and case to case. And I would caution people against assuming China is one place, because quite frankly, there is a huge regional difference from the North to the South, the East to the West. So you really need to think locally wherever you are in terms of implementation. And my career planning is exactly the same tool we will have with a customer advisor on the sales floor who wants to progress to supervisor. So we're always looking at development, right from the bottom, right to the top. We've proactively gone to the leading educational institutions in Shanghai. We've spoken to them and we've made presentations to the key players, both in the placement departments and the faculties. And over a period of time, we've had trainees and various uh, people placed with us. Now when I ask, the young people who are coming to work with us, why are you coming here? They're professors, they're lecturers, and the teachers in, in the leading educational establishments are telling them the best place for you to learn and develop is at Three on the Bund. So that has now become for us a very powerful source which drives in the cream of the graduates from the leading educational establishments in Shanghai. And I think in any industry that would be a worthwhile tactic. If you look at Chinese graduate market at the moment, uh, there are a huge number of graduates who can't find jobs, so we know the people out there, but in, you then have to invest a lot in training. I think practical experience is more important, you know. Uh, what they can do is more important, and also their potential, if you can tell that, is also important. Because degrees in China, it's inflated, actually. And also they, uh, uh, for the uh, universities, they expanded, you know, their students' enrollment. So it, before, it's maybe 2% or 3% or 10% can go to university, now 50%. Many of our engineers are from a design institute in Anshan. You know, our general manager, his uh, father-in-law used to be the president of that institute. He recommended a lot of good engineers to us. So because of the recommendation, these people, when they move from one city to another, they feel more secure. We do seek to try and get people who've got experience with Western organisations, um, who have dealt with Western organisations, because there is a very different way of working, a different way of responding to things. Normally, we don't try to hire people who go directly from overseas. We want to, him to show that he has previous experience in China, or even after he came back, he has got some working experience here. You get lost because China develops so fast. So you have to uh, give yourself a period of time to get used to what's going on here. A lot of my staff don't come from Beijing because, you know, a lot of the good senior engineering type staff in Beijing, you know, you take them on and they'll, they'll work for your company for one year, two years, and then another foreign company offers them a job and they're away to work for them. In reality, money is important. Money talks and people will move from happy positions to other positions if you pay them more. But when you talk about bonuses, everybody gets 12 months salary, but they always get a 13 month salary. And, you know, I, I came across some people working for another large uh, international company and I, I was talking to some of the Chinese staff that I knew quite well and they were complaining terribly because this company refused to, to uh, change their sort of personnel policies and, and pay a 13-month salary. 
you know, what's the big deal? You know, just think of how much you were going to pay and divide it by 13 instead of 12. You know, it's just the way you approach things. Yes, it's about giving them a, a good, a good um, uh, remuneration package. But it's also about a retention bonus, which we have in place. And it's also about the culture. Uh, and most of our people really like the culture. And it's also about um, giving them the growth, the growth story. People like to be on a, a roller coaster that's really going fast and going in the right direction. So that encourages people's loyalty and commitment. Well, I think that's the exciting thing about China versus Europe, the opportunity for expansion. In the last two years, well, we've more than doubled in size and in numbers of stores. And the numbers of store doubling has given great, great opportunity for more lower level people to become supervisors in their hometown. And of course, if they see that the guy who runs the business is Chinese, then they know they can go all the way to the top. So keeping that pretty fun fundamental principle has been important to our retention. The Chinese employee is expecting more and more. The challenge is to give them the opportunity around training, experience um, and salary. And, and salary competitiveness is growing in this market. Um, and it is very, very challenging. For a, a small and medium-sized company like Clyde, we cannot compete with uh, big multinationals, I mean, in terms of salary. We have a big part of bonus, and we want people who can do the job, hands-on experience, and at the same time, we want people who have problem-solving skills. So this combination, actually, I think is uh, sometimes maybe higher caliber even than for multinational companies, because for those companies, they have good systems, you know, they rely more on the system rather on the people. We do have labour turnover, but hopefully we have the right people leaving us rather than the wrong people. People who we value, they know we value them. And it's not just about career progression, it's not just about salary increase, it's about fair appraisal and honest and frank discussions about their career and how they're doing with us. Retaining is not a standalone problem, it starts with recruitment. So try to find the right people, cultural fit people is very important for us. And also we try to create uh, some you know, conversion cost uh, when they want to leave. I think the, the old adage, word of mouth, is the most powerful recruiter. If you create the right environment and you look after people from the first day you start to trade, anybody who comes with you, whether they stay with you or whether they leave, how you treat them, the, the bamboo telephone, to use a kind of local expression, is very powerful in Shanghai. And people know where they can learn, where they can develop themselves, and they're very hungry to do so. And where they're going to be respected and treated well, it matters, it matters to everybody. If you can do that from the day you start, you'll find the word of mouth and the power of referral will be a far stronger source than any other job websites or adverts that you're going to put in the newspaper.